Henry is 97 years old, and he was a member of the 320th Barrage Balloon Battalion, which was the only African-American unit to land on Omaha Beach on D-Day, uh, June 6, 1944. As you know, we fought World War II with the strictly racially segregated military. Uh, most African-Americans were uh, relegated to kind of uh, back uh, rear echelon support positions. And, uh, but Henry was part of this very special unit. Originally they were called a Coastal Barrage Balloon Battalion, and then they became an assault battalion. Uh, and, and he landed, well, well, we'll hear a little bit from him. 75 years has dim memories and certainly dim voices, uh, so you'll understand if, if, you know, not all the details could be answered. Henry, thank you for coming today. And you said that uh, for the for the Normandy invasion, I mean, your job was to get on that beach and raise these barrage balloons. Can you tell people what barrage balloons were for? Well, to protect the beach and also stop the enemy plane from by screaming us. Right. So that's the way we were, and we flew those balloons and kept them up. You keep them up, we just shoot them down. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So these cables went up. These were kind of low altitude balloons. Yeah. These were for a combat situation. So they went up about 200 feet, and they were meant to prevent airplanes from sweeping down and strafing the beach. Uh, they were there as a kind of a, a picket in the air, you know, preventing that kind of attack. We really, the United States, didn't know anything about barrage balloons. We hadn't remembered them from World War I, so we didn't have any barrage balloons, for example, at Pearl Harbor, where it would have helped. Uh, the British were really experts on barrage balloons, and they had them throughout England during the, uh, the Battle of Britain and the Blitz. Uh, and so you were part of this, one of the few Americans who really knew how to handle these things, and they were tough to handle, weren't they? Yes, they were. You trained in Tennessee. Tyson, Tennessee. Tyson's Corners, maybe, or Camp Tyson, Tennessee, where you said the winds were always blowing. The four winds, where the four winds blew. It's where the four winds blew. Yeah. And so they were really tricky to hold on to. And, yes, they were. Uh, one of, I think one member of his battalion was electrocuted during a storm. Yeah. Um, those cables, you would, if you let them go, they would whip around and, I mean, they could decapitate you. They were that. They were that powerful. Yeah. What do you remember of uh, landing? Oh, by the way, I have to say, I can't believe that Henry is here. This has been a busy day for him. I know Ethel, uh, I got called by three people in the media who said, can you connect me to Henry Parra? <laughs> I said, you gotta be here tonight. So, and I know you were on CNN today. Yes. Um, I, I know there was an article uh, in Time Magazine on, on, on you and your battalion. So, thank you for being here. You probably exhausted answering these questions. <laughs> what do you remember of kind of getting uh, off that landing craft into the water and then on the beach? Well, I know it was a scary thing, but we did it. Wow. And then you, you arrived in the afternoon, you raised those balloons, and uh, you know, you're getting shot at, right? I mean, that's right. <laughs> how, did, how do you do it? Well, I guess with the help of good Lord. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, and, and the beach was not strafed. Not at all. The whole time you were there. No. Nope. Wow. Thank you so much, Henry. Okay. <laughs>